What's going on Team TaylorMade and welcome to your 2022 season. This is the TaylorMade Tour Truck. I'm Sam from the TaylorMade Tour Team. This is our home away from home. Let's get stuck into it. The truck has had a nice facelift this year, stealth branding throughout, but let's just get through all of the nuts and bolts and really give you an insight into what we do on this TaylorMade Tour Truck. The truck works in two different parts. This side of the truck is the build side. The other side of the truck will be where I will come on, rep and do all of my placing the orders and giving it to Alex our tech who makes the magic happen on here. So in this side of the truck, we have all of our head drawers. We have them all loaded into the drawers in our foam, which is fit for each head that we have. The good thing about these heads is that they're all in true loft order from strongest to weakest in each head. So obviously that's the hybrid draw. Then we move through. Robert McIntyre will be happy. We've got him locked and loaded, ready for the season. The left-handed options. We've got some blades, we've got some MCs. We've got the drivers of fairways, loads of high toe options. This stuff here is all about the player backups that we have for each specific player. No matter what, who they are, if they play something that's unique, we put it into this drawer just so we have it every time. Also a really good thing to have if we get a really good drive for someone and we build them a backup, we put it into this driver, in, into this driver drawer where they can pick it up anytime that they feel that they need to travel with it or they're not going to see us for a few weeks. So that's that drawer there. We've got the head covers underneath there. And then moving forward into the fairway options on the, on the TaylorMade Tour Truck. They come in the bonded and we've got them in the Stealth Plus, which is on the FCT sleeve. Again, same deal. We have all of the lofts, all from true, true loft and true lie in order from strongest to weakest throughout the draw. So the main event, what you've all come to see, is the carbon wood and we have plenty of these guys eight eight degrees nine degrees tens one thing I always get asked are these guys on tour playing a standard head there is no difference between this and a retail head we make sure that we include all of the true loft and light the face angle everything on these heads to make sure that we are picking the right one for every single player that we have some of the machinery you've seen us uh, on, on previous tours here. It's the same machinery on this tour truck this year. We've got the grinding belt, which we use to rough up the edges and tip prepare a golf shaft, or we use it to shape wedges should we need it on those linksy turfs, which you'll see later on in the year at some of the links tournaments that are played throughout the season. Cutting machine, we know how this works. Club goes in, switch it on, cut the shaft, away we go. And then we have over here is all of our swing weighting options. Something we do do on tour is we have the ability to take weight out of the back of the head, move it further forward, do the vice versa. But we do have every single weight skew that we can to really dial in that optimum performance of the drivers that we have this season. We also have the slug weights, which will go in to get the swing weights right on for each player in terms of the irons and the wedge setups. So that everything down this side of the truck is all component format. We can go straight on, pick the shaft of the shaft rector, which I'll come to, and then we'll have all of our heads that we can cherry pick the right head per the spec of each individual player to make sure we get it bang on. So moving on, we have the loft sleeves, which we actually have on tour, which are different degree increments. We have a one degree sleeve, a one to five degree sleeve, and a two degree sleeve. Now, one key takeaway from that is that the one degree sleeve, if you took it from standard to lower, that is a full degree. The same deal with a 1.5, standard to lower is 1.5 degrees, and then you've got the two degrees, which is all the way from standard to lower is two full degrees. So we have the ability to change that, to get face angle, to get true loft. We use these sleeves a lot, which I'll show you on the golf instruments machine that we use, just to make sure that we get it concrete to spec. And that is one thing that we pride ourselves on is that we can, we, with the options that we have, with the weights that we have and the loft sleeves we have, there is not one order on this truck that if it's written down correctly and that's exactly what the player plays, we have full confidence in what we build on this truck will go out exactly as it's written down. Check it out. The shaft right now. Everyone's dream is to come and see what all of these shafts are all about. We have so many of them. You can see in these top two rows here, we have every single one of our players. We carry backup iron shafts. We've got six wedge shafts. We carry their graphite shafts as well. So every time Alex gets an order for a player that you can see up here, he will be able to just pick it out of their slot, take it from the main shaft rack and replenish the stock or from HQ, which is where the truck is right now. So that is that. 
we have all of these different brown brand of uh, of shafts that we can choose from so you know i'm a massive fan of fitting shafts that if they've played that shaft previously it's a very good starting point also with the technology in the head you want to don't want to change too many variables you want to see what this driver does versus another versus your current gamer so then you can see if is the shaft the issue is the head working or just trying to find different options which we can do and as you can see we have an extensive range to really dial in that driver so as i was saying to you earlier this now is the side of the technician, uh, the rep side, sorry. So we've been through the technician side. This is the rep side. We still have all of our heads in here as well, but we, we, we continue to carry on wedges and irons on this side of the truck. So as you can see, we've got the MG3s locked and loaded. We have everything in here from two irons to P7MBs, P7TWs, P790s even, fresh sets, ready for those orders that will come in, no doubtedly, at the first truck event. So another thing that Alex love, loves to do on the truck, and we all like to do it, is stamp some wedges, personalise these wedges. A lot of the, the younger staff players will really, really enjoy getting their wedges stamped. It could be with anything on there. It could be a dog's name. It could be anything. But one thing we've introduced on, the, on this truck is that every time a player wins a, tail, uh, a tour event, we will give them a star on their wedge. And that, that signifies the win. A little bit like, you know, when you win the World Cup and you see it on the nationalities football shirts. It's the same deal with us. We just want to give that guy or that girl something there that will just be a mem memorable moment for them on their wedges for each tournament they win. And that's one thing that we really like to do. So I mentioned this earlier about finding a driver or finding a fairway wood or even using irons to really get the true loft and lie of the golf club. This is our golf instruments machine. Now, I would say that all of the boys will agree with me when I say that we use this the most out of everything on the truck. When we're matching up a, a, a gamer to something that we're trying to test with a player, we want to compare apples for apples. So this machine allows us to get the true loft, the true lie, the, even the right face angle. So when we're picking these heads out of the drawers, as I explained to you earlier, they are exactly the same and we are comparing driver for driver to see what the key benefits are. So another thing that we have on tour as well is the ability to bend bonded fairway woods. So what that means is, is we have molds that will go in here. It works on a compressor unit, it will come down, it will clamp it all in and we have the ability to bend it flat, upright, strong, weak, whatever way we want to go with it. We, can, we have the ability to make these minor adjustments which will make miles of a better difference in ball flight. The thing that I would say for you guys, is imagine your bonded fairway wood is on an FCT sleeve and we're just trying to find the right setting for them. That would be the reason why we would bend a wood on this tailor-made tour truck. The center console, we've got the putter loft and lie and the iron loft and lie. We have something called a bag MOT on the tailor-made tour truck, which is where the player will bring their bag on, normally leave it on overnight, it means a late night for us, but we don't mind that. We have the bag at the back end of the truck. We will check the lofts, the lies on everything in the golf bag, even the woods. We'll create a spec for that player and update it so it's live so anyone in the global um, tailor-made tour team can access that file and make sure that if they do play in other areas of the, of the world, that they have a concrete spec for what is in their bag right now. This is imperative for us. We'll change the grips, we'll change everything, and more to come on that. We'll do a nice little video of that at a truck season event, um, and we'll make sure that we'll get that into you guys about how to look after your golf equipment properly. So in here, we have some player grips. So like the shaft rack, we like to keep everything as a backup for our, our, our staff players. If they have a unique grip, it's hard to always get a really good stock of those right now. So we're just trying to make sure that we have at least a full set and some ones for the woods as well, should we do those bag MOTs. So as you can see, some familiar names in there. A lot of options for these guys and girls out on the road. We have all sorts of grips and corded and multi compounds. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with those. And then that moves us on to the gripping station. The gripping station is what works on uh, a compressor unit, which will close it up for us. And then it has a pedal system for the fluid, which will come out. And then obviously the tape's all hands-free, nice and easy, and away we go. The key takeaway from this is, if you were to come on and we were building your driver, 
we will quote you 25 minutes before from that order being placed to you hitting it on the range. So that is that takes in consideration the, the time it takes for the grip to go off, the glue to, to dry, to come to be swing weighted. That's something we pride ourselves on in, is the fact that we can get something out to the player when you have a tight window to, to work with them and get that performance dialed in on that driver, fairway wood, iron, whatever it is, straight away. And this is our new stealth wrapped area for where the players will pick up their soft goods. So normally, as a rule of thumb, players will get three dozen balls a week, four hats and four gloves. We're in the process now of stocking this for everyone that's going to be playing um, in the first couple of truck, truck season events, or we just like to put them in for show because there's some pretty cool names up here. I'm sure you can agree with that. So that is all of that stuff. So down here, we keep an extra float of custom golf balls for our players. Now, if you win a European Tour event, a major or anything like that, you will get your own custom golf ball with TaylorMade. You can choose a number, you've got the logos. For example, Bob Mack, he has a Scottish flag on his ball. Nikolai Hogard is now using a 44 TaylorMade golf ball. For a certain F1 fan, a certain driver, that's the reason for that number. You're looking at all of these players in here. We'll see Rory, we've got Tommy, we've got Herbie, we've got Bob Mack, we've got Nikolai. We've got all of these guys are all winners on the European and DP World Tour. We all have their golf balls locked in here for each event that they play. Like I said, it's the same deal with all of these guys up there. This is the general float of hats. So we have the large, extra large, we've got visors, we've got snapbacks, we've got radars, we've got high crown visors, anything you can think of. We've also got some custom hats for our players, which will have corporate sponsors on the side of their hats. So everything in here, like I said, we are in the midst of absolutely stocking this thing ram full of product. But now, as you can see, we're making a good headway on this and getting it ready to go. Uh, similarly, on this side, we have the gloves. I mean, it's just a, another thing. So we'll take them out of here, put them into the player slots. We normally do that Monday morning of each event that we go to on tour. Um, and then the caddies will come on and just as and when they'll just grab the stuff when it suits the player or in their schedules. So yep, gloves in there. The meeting area out the back is the office. Players will come and chill or we'll have um, players agents. And, and we'll, if we get a downtime, we'll do that. We'll, we'll go out there and sit down and talk to players or talk about a build we're about to do for them. Have a coffee, have a chill. There's normally some unbelievable snacks in there, which Alex and Mark have done a great job with. I mean, we're all trying to be healthy out here, but I don't understand how we're gonna stay healthy with what we've got in those drawers. Now, if the office space is absolutely rammed full, we can get at this new waiting area we have on the tour truck this year. So, I can tell you, this is the spot to be. The boys all building the product for you, just waiting to go and hit it on the range. Just chill out, watch a bit of the TV. Oh, to be a player, but I'm not, so I better get the other side. Now, that wraps up the TaylorMade Tour Truck video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Get at us on social, keep an eye out for the, the TaylorMade Tour Truck on the road and at events, and we'll see you soon.